Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the National Guard products, number 803N. This is a mill finish aluminum bumper seal threshold uh, with a TPV insert. We'll go over that in a moment. Also known as a latch track or a panic threshold or a bump up bumper seal. I like to call them bump up. It's just probably what it was described to me the first time I ever saw a threshold like this. Um, where are you going to use the threshold? Well, it's very well used in typical hollow metal installations where you have a three-quarter inch undercut. The dimensional properties of the 803 are, let's go over it now, five inch wide, one inch overall height, which is obviously not handicap compliant, but then you've got five eighths of an inch down the area that will be immediately under the door, okay? If you've got a three quarter inch undercut, this should just gracefully fit and bump up against the bumper seal, okay? Bump up style. Outswinging doors generally is where you'll see these, but not um, maybe only because outswing doors is generally where you'll see hollow metal doors when they're used in lots of different applications. And as an in swing would be a good option as well um, because you know you get your seal right out here rather than if it's an outswing door, your door is sitting out here. And you really need to add a door sweep here. So in swing, out swing, swing, whatever the case might be. But this threshold in particular is going to be primarily seen in outswinging applications. So much so, hollow metal doors, the back of a strip mall. Possibly an excellent example for this. Even though you've got a bump to get over here. Or a restaurant back door where deliveries are taken. Um, wouldn't be handicap compliant, doesn't need to be. Um, would give you the seal that the owner and the inspector is certainly looking for um, from daylight. But where you're also going to see this as an outswing is part of its namesake, latch track or panic threshold. The feature, if you'll just study the feature on the back side of the threshold right here, think of a big box store. Think of a 100,000 square foot big box store. You've got four pair of doors on the back wall. They're all emergency exits. You've got pairs of doors that are six foot wide, seven foot tall. You have surface mounted vertical rod exit devices. This feature to the back side of the threshold gets its name because it can act as the strike plate from a surface vertical rod bottom latch. Latch track panic threshold. When someone says panic threshold, I understand that they mean this, okay? So that's where it gets its name as well. So this threshold is capable of doing lots of jobs, sealing quite effectively for both the height of the undercut, the need to seal it very effectively with a contact of the face of the door up against this, handle the problem of the exit device bottom latch as well, and if you added a door sweep out here, I think you're perfectly suited to incredibly positively seal the bottom of the uh, threshold very elegantly okay so you'll see it involved now that 5 8 is good for a three-quarter undercut the five inch is also good because that's a good size when you're dealing with typical hollow metal doors uh, in terms of the frames and their jam depth now there's a link below this video to a document called product brochure and that's going to show you other bumper seal thresholds and admittedly, the 804 that's on the current page two, that's awfully common as well, as is the 884, where they're half inch tall. However, if I know that I've got a clear three quarter inch underneath the door to the concrete uh, poured uh, floor or, or foundation or whatever I'm attaching to, I'd really go for the 803 because I don't need a quarter inch from the bottom of the door to my threshold. I really need an eighth of an inch. 
Um, you might want more room if you know that your sill is not quite level, okay? So that 803 is exquisite in that regard. Could be very good. Uh, referred to as well there, if you've got 803 in the part number and you add the N, you're going to get thermal plastic material, a very high quality insert material, the TPV. If you change the N to an S, you'll get silicone. To a V, you'll get vinyl, which you don't want. Uh, you don't want vinyl unless, of course, cost is the most important aspect because vinyl is the poorest in terms of performance. P for pile, if you wanted that very soft, uh, small, uh, delicate pile material, if you wanted that inserted. And you'll see pile material very often installed in aluminum storefront material, but you really don't see bumper style thresholds. The insert that you're actually going to use is probably going to be dependent on the circumstances. Um, and if you leave it blank, if you order just an 803, you won't get any insert. So be mindful of the possibility of not getting any insert whatsoever. Now let's take the absence of an insert is likely a mistake. You probably don't want that at all. Um, a cost, go with vinyl. Vinyl is the poorest performance in terms of uh, temperature range and exposure to ultraviolet. Silicone is exceptional, but to me its strong suit is extreme temperature capability. Really cold to really hot. Uh, if you had pairs of doors on a roof of a power station in the south where it's always going to be north of 100 degrees in that sort of environment on a rooftop, silicone would be great. Pile is good, I think, when you are really looking for the most compressible of all seal material. That pile is going to just give way really easy. Um, silicone is quite flexible and durable, but if you had a condition where the door was cupped, uh, you might want, you know, and, uh, and cupping in a door does occur, it can occur, especially in those high temperature environments where the, when you lay the threshold on the floor and you measure with a caliper from the face of the threshold to the face of the door at multiple points across the width, you can have a different dimension. You might want pile because it will easily compress where it's tight and still stand proud where it's not. It's literally taking a minutia and dividing it infinite times what seal you're going to use. But in general, the N is exceptional or the S for silicone is exceptional. I would go with the N if you want what everyone uses. That's the one to go with. Even though it is a bit, it is certainly noticeably more rigid than silicone and very much so more rigid than pile would be and probably marginally more rigid than vinyl. Okay. <clears throat> the 803N is probably the one that you want. Uh, the rest of the items on there on that product brochure are very handy. Uh, refers to the DKB. If you go with a 803N or some insert, then add DKB, you'll get dark bronze anodized aluminum. Now this threshold is listed in the website in lots of different lengths. If you have need for a custom length, by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and simply indicate in the comment field the net length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. Before I proceed with that, I've touched this many times physically and I've thought I've got to mention it. I'm a big fan of National Guard because of the profile on their bump ups. Some of them have these multiple grooved or they're not serrated because serrated would make you feel like they're sharp, but multiple serration lines that in my opinion, when you have a threshold installed down well, those grooves really help eliminate the possibility of over time bumping the door and moving it or creeping it along, okay? And when you properly secure this, think of a machine screw and a lead anchor, you're going to tighten that down so hard that those serr serrations down here will really help keep it in position. Um, anyway, that's a reason why I like this threshold. Uh, so back to the lengths. From 2 foot to 8 foot, they're all listed in the site. If you have need for something longer than that, we'll be happy to accommodate. You could have a pair of 5 foot doors if it was a car dealership. Um, and you need a 10 foot length or 12 foot length, reach out to our sales department. We'll help with that. We don't list them because the cost to transport them is generally 
prohibitive, certainly if you need just one piece. Uh, if you needed 30 12 foot pieces, the cost for freight uh, will, will be divided in and not really be that noticeable. Now, <clears throat> if you have need for a custom length, by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and just indicate in the comment field the length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. Now the reasoning is, is if you had to take this 36 inch piece and cut it down to say 32 inch, you'd eliminate that countersink that's there. The next one's all the way over here. So if you had to cut this, you'd not only have to cut it, but then you might realize, oh gosh, I don't have a countersink. And you really want that hole countersunk or dimpled for a proper installation. And speaking of that hole, screws are included in a complementary finish. Uh, number 10 by inch and a half maybe. Uh, flathead Phillips wood screws are what's there. Um, so if you order a custom length, order the next longest piece. Simply indicate that in the comment field and we'll not only cut it to length, but we'll give you that countersink at the uh, proper distance from the edge and the proper center to center as well. Now I'm a fan of National Guard and it's because they're a no-nonsense company that does not to say they do one thing, because they certainly do more than one thing, but they do one thing in terms of weather stripping, and they do it very well. The name National Guard is quite synonymous with weather stripping in the construction industry, and it's likely that you're already familiar with them. And if you have more than an occasional need and you're not familiar, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the National Guard products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog where you can review all that material. Nimble company, foot, a nice footprint of available products, good people to deal with, industry average or above average shipping lead times, quality exceptional. You may, may or may not have noticed, this is a heavy threshold. This threshold weighs 2.8 pounds. It's only a three foot piece of aluminum, but the thing weighs 0.93 pound per foot. So the point of that is, the thickness of the aluminum is generous. That's, that's the point of it. You want to put a threshold in and not have to replace it in five years. Any questions on this or any other National Guard product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.